Have you prayed before with sand? Have you been joking praying with sand? Do you even understand the spiritual benefit of sand? Do you have people around you that is manipulating you, that is doing evil against you, that is working haters, cutters in your life, and yet nothing, I mean nothing, you've done nothing, you are confused, you don't know what to do. Are you the type that you find yourself in the midst of people that is gossiping you, in the midst of people that hate you for no reason, in the midst of people that have vowed that you are not going to survive? Let me tell you, you can use sand. Just sand we all step on every day to liberate yourself. Sand is one of the spiritual materials you pray with that works instantly, that works that work miraculously when you understand the benefit so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you another powerful way to use sand for blessing for back to sender for breakthrough for success for whatever that it is that you are going through and your life will not remain the same thank you and follow me to the end of this video but before then you're welcome back to my channel or my page thank you for stopping by if you are new or see me for the first time you're welcome here i share how to pray with using natural things so if you love praying with natural things and you love knowing the benefits of natural things please do subscribe or follow me for more please disregard the never have taken the life but at least you can see my face okay all right so but before i dive into the video please make sure you subscribe follow me turn on the bell notification for my returning subscribers you're welcome today may the good lord bless you for me all right and i want to say this please disregard any number you see in the comment section there's a whole lot of scammers opening pages and channels with my name and my picture please don't fall victim i will never never send my number on a comment section for you okay joe let's dive into the video all right guys so if you want to do this particular assignment for a fast and effective result do this in the night yes do it in the night if you are the time that you cannot do it midnight just do it in the night when the weather is getting dark or when you are about to sleep now come back with your testimony now how do you use sam i'm sorry how do you use sand number one to for a revenge or maybe somebody wants to take over what belongs to you or maybe somebody is fighting you spiritually even if you don't know the person but you know that somebody is after your life somebody is threatening you somebody is frustrating everything that you are doing you and i know that every human on this earth steps on the sand and let me tell you a lot of people's destiny a lot of people's glory a lot of people marita said to men fruitfulness has been buried on this earth on this mother earth all right so you can still use it to revise all those things now how to use it is go and pack a sand anywhere you can pack a sand is fine just pack a sand you can keep it or do this particular prayer let me tell you do it exactly by 12 a.m because this particular time is very very spiritual warfare is it a very spiritual time that a lot of good and a lot of bad are happening and let me tell you, even the word of God said that two cannot work together except they agree. In as much as or if somebody that is manipulating you or somebody that is doing one evil to you or the other, calling your name for negative things and all that, and you are awake, praying at that particular moment, saying no to anyone, whether you know the person or you don't know the person, believe you me, the, the, that particular courses, that particular utterances or ritual will never work for you. Because at that particular time, your spirit is awake. As you know that this thing that we are owing here, this our flesh body is just like a coat, covers our real us. So your real you is the spirit being in you. So in as much as your spirit being is active at that particular moment, rejecting those projections and all that is just an event that the person is doing. So if you have been struggling and nothing works for you, you've prayed, you've visited a lot of places, uh, you've done a lot of spiritual walls, you've visited a lot of uh, prayer houses and nothing happened. My dear, go and get me a sand. Just do this thing for three days. You will come back and tell me, promise, thank you for this sequence. Now, when you pack this sand, keep it. You can pack it in the morning. You can pack it in the afternoon. You can pack it in the night, any time of your choice. Now, when you pack this sand, when it's 12 o'clock midnight, my dear, wake up. Right? Wake up from sleep or being awake till that moment. Take that sand. 
When you take that sand, you hold it, that sand in your hand and call your name, your name that is making the prayer, call your name three times. Or if you are doing it for somebody, or you are doing it for your entire family or your household, call your name, represent everybody, and say, Oh God Almighty, the creator of the whole universe, any man or woman under this earth that is created by God and born by a woman that is after my life, that is doing this manipulation to me, that are making me to walk in vain, that are making things to be hard for me, that are making me to be a borrower instead of a giver. You begin to pray. If you can cry, my dear, cry. Remember that all these things are natural, and nature is very powerful, and nature is a blessing to human. If you know how to make use of nature, believe you me, you will be a dangerous person to evil people. Because that is what they are also using in a negative way to manipulate you, to do all sorts of things. And you just find yourself in a mess, you just find yourself in the midst of suffering and struggling and all that. So use it and bless yourself. Use it and reverse it. Use it for back to sender. Use it to send whatever arrow they are sending to you back to sender. Begin to talk to God. Tell God that from today, any power from the kingdom, wherever that you have been manipulated, that tonight, let the Almighty God disgrace and expose. And I don't know, you can decide to pray, talk to God. There is power in your words. Whatever you say is what your guardian angels, is what your spirit guard is man using to your God to manifest your tomorrow. So you speak into existence, you speak to the universe what you want. You have to tell people who know the name of the person. Maybe somebody is dragging what belongs to you, your land, your property. Mention the person's name. Tell the mother earth to be against the person. As long as the person steps his or her foot on this land, let the land judge that one. Whether or the place the person is, the sun will represent everywhere on earth. After making this prayer, pour your desire, talk to God. After doing that, use that ram and ram it on your hand three times and say from today that your head will not answer evil that your head will not answer bad things then after that keep the sand okay keep it in a safe place but if you have a kid's children that is not safe you can throw it away but if you can keep it just look for a place keep the sand the next day again get the sand and please read some 35 and read some 91 while making this prayer talk to god Tell God that body, tell God that pain, tell God that particular situation. Any man, whoever that is known and unknown to you, don't want to know. So after you're done making this prayer, praying, 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 talking to heaven, what do you do? You keep this now. After the three days, after you're done making the prayer, first day, second day, and third day, 12 midnight, begin to talk to God. Then wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, or when you don't miss in that morning that you finish early in the morning, before people start walking around, go to a major road. If you have a three junction, if you have a four junction, fine. But if where you are living is not where you can actually see all this junction easily, just go to a place where people passes, place where people walks every day and say, as you throw away the sand, let the life of this person go like this sand. It's not a bad prayer. Because anybody that never wish you well, is an enemy to your success. Anybody that is going to different evil places for you is an enemy to your success. So to you, for you to say that the life of the person to go to me is not a bad prayer because it's just an enemy. It's not a friend. It's not a good companion. It's just a somebody that wants you to be frustrated. Somebody that wants you to remain like, like at the spot from January to December. Somebody that wants you to always borrow before you eat. Somebody that wants you to always cry when others are sleeping. So he's never your friend. Talk to God what you want. After you're done making this prayer, my dear, go and throw away the sand. Go back and sit down. You're going to hear news. You're going to hear stories. People will call you for, for their imaginable things happening. It's so powerful. Is so great. Any prayer that has to do with the four elements of life, please don't drop with it. If you are tired of struggling, if you have done all manner of things and it's never working for you, please try it and you will come back with a testimony. In my next video, I promise to share you with you how to use sand to bless yourself. 
how to use sand to pull your situation around for good, how to use sand to open every closed door, how to use sand to, to make things to start working for you. So I promise to share that in my next video. Stay blessed and thank you for watching this amazing one. If you find this helpful, please do me a favor. Like this video. Yes, you heard me. Like it. Comment in the comment section and also share. Liking it will make it to go more viral. It will make people to watch it. It will make it to be more visible to a lot of people to watch. Remember, as you are helping someone, you are helping yourself. And God Almighty will bless all of us and grant every of our heart desire. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that as you go ahead to do this, may all your requests be granted before God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you and congratulations in advance. I await your testimony. Please don't forget to come back to 65. I wish you good love and see you in my next one.